In this video, we want to derive Kepler's equation, uh, which is a relation between the area uh, uh, in, with, with defined by a point on an ellipse uh, and the boundary of the ellipse and uh, the eccentric anomaly and angle, which is defined by this construction. The relation uh, is done through uh, another angle called the mean anomaly, which is uh, an angle going from 0 to 2 pi, uh, which is proportional to this area. Uh, since the area covered by a particle uh, on a Keplerian motion is proportional to the time that passed since it was at the closest uh, separation, um, this is a very useful relation between a simple uh, geometrical angle and this time. Um, in order to derive uh, this relation, uh, the key point to realize is that uh, an ellipse is a squashed circle. It's a circle with a radius a, which is the semi-major axis of the ellipse, uh, which is squashed by a factor b over a, where b is the semi-minor axis of the ellipse. Uh, once this is realized, uh, this area can be related uh, to a much simpler area, the area of this shape, denoted here by S1, um, through this factor of P over A, that's it. So this simpler area we can now express, uh, this is the difference between the part of the circle, which has an area of radius squared times the angle divided by 2, uh, we need to subtract from this area this triangle, you know, which has a baseline of a times the eccentricity and a height of the a times sine e. Uh, so this is the expression for uh, for this. Uh, so this is the this is the area of this triangle, and this is the expression for this area. Now, as we said. This area is just the squashed version of this area, so it's S1 times B divided by A, and when we plug in the expression for S1, this is what we get. Now, if we use the definition of the mean anomaly, which is 2, ti 2 pi times this area divided by the area of the ellipse, and we use the fact that the area of the ellipse is pi AB, to see this, again, we, use the, the, we start with a circle which has an area of pi a squared, and we multiply it by b over a to get this area. When we use this, we get Kepler's equation.